three. And a few minutes later, Drummond tries again. And this time Joe says, yes, I would believe he could be interested in hotels. Yes, yeah, sure. And Drummond asks him in Brisbane or in the country. And Joe says, well, I, I didn't have any discussions in depth with him. He's evading the question, right? Right. Yeah, I've, I've made up my mind. I think he's guilty. Me too. Um, it seems very clear, don't you think so, Val? <laughs> you see, he admits Soong could be interested in hotels. And when he's asked in Brisbane or the country, he changes his subject to when Soong came to give him the donation. What do you think, Luke? <laughs> Look, it's all pretty clear. Come on, Luke. He knows about the hotel site. He knows where it is. He spent two years talking about it. He's evaded the question three times. You don't know what's in his mind. Evasion is perjury, Luke. What do you think, Luke? Joe evades those three questions, doesn't he? Cat got your tongue, Luke? Okay, so we all agree he evades those questions. Hey, come on, Luke. I'm talking to you. What do you think? Um, Val, Val, do you, do you want to uh, go over anything? Judge wants to see him. You're not going to no, no, let no. them win you over. I'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Mr. Foreman, I was wondering if there's any prospect of a verdict today. Uh, probably not today, Your Honour, no. Uh, we're well on the way, but I don't know if today or this evening one will be forthcoming. If there's any more assistance I can be to you, please don't hesitate to tell the bailiff. Thank you, Your Honour. They're all in agreement that Joe evaded the question three times. Yes, yes. yes. we are. Yes. Yes. No, I'm still no. thinking about that one. Oh, oh, I'm trying to think about the bloody price. thing. You agree to the bloody thing this afternoon? I don't agree about it. it was something oh, being considered? It was something not being considered? You went and said to the judge, we're well on their way, and you're not even looking at the other side. We're well on our way. I think we're doing it all the time. Last day. Last day. And you know you think that I've led a sheltered life, but I have never heard anyone say that you have. Last day. And you know you think that I've led a sheltered life, but I have never heard anybody talking to each other like that. It's awful, Betty. I know it's horrible, but unfortunately it's real life. Yes, but it's not the real life I have in my home. No, not in mine either. But unfortunately, it's not a normal situation. It'll all be over soon. Hey, shit, no, all right. All right. What's your yeah, you all right. What you just a You got. You have got no right to ask around with a Queensland people, mate. Do you think one of us will talk to the judge? No, we can't. Otherwise, he'll call a mistrial, and none of us want that. Oh. I suppose you're right. Yes, and think of all the money that's been spent. Sorry, girl, it's a smug act. You're a bloody dickhead. Dickhead, dick. Sorry, you're all in. And so, Kevin's brilliant explanation had come to nothing. After dinner, Val went back to picking over the meaning of every word in the indictment. In the end, she asked for a dictionary. She got two. And we waited while she buried her nose in them for hours. She looked up so many words, we started to wonder if she knew the meaning of anything at all. This was the third night in a row that we'd been locked up till 10 p.m. and everyone was totally exhausted. Except Brad, who was at a loose end now that the batteries in his Game Boy had died and the bailiff wouldn't get him any more.
Wake up, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Since you keep asking me why I think he's guilty, I've written it out for you. Well, what do you think? Perjury. The action of swearing to a statement known to be false, specifically in law, the crime of willfully uttering false evidence. She's foul. I mean, is. don't you think that we know that? What do you think we've been sitting in that courtroom listening to for two weeks? She's a brick short of the load. Circumnavigation. Have you gone past circumcision yet, Val? Circumstantial. Of, relating to, or dependent on circumstances. Look up boring, Val. Bradley, I think you should take this seriously. Don't worry, I know what it means. I suppose you're missing your husband a bit. Kevin and I have got a half bottle in the fridge. What? Four eggs. We asked all the other girls, but they wouldn't be in it. <laughs> no, thanks. Why have sausages when you can have steak at home? <laughs> hey, what's this? The Dura's Ball. No, it's a smoker's room. Where's the glass? Oh, no, I've got a wash. Oh, you can say that again. Oh, just because your mum ironed every single thing in your wardrobe. Did you stick your teddy in there as well? I've never been for the long haul. Mm, too long. I think in the morning we should tell the judge it's over. We can't. Something will happen. They can't hold out forever. Wouldn't put my last two bob on it. Get the feeling we're not going to get out of here alive. No, I think <laughs> Val is trying very hard to understand, you know? Me too. Is she kidding? No, she, look, she's not saying she's made up her mind yet. She's saying I need more time. To do what? My turn to talk to her tomorrow. Waste of bloody time. We should give them all the time they want. Why? This afternoon I heard Val telling Luke not to give in. They're working together, can't you see that? We're the ones being worn down. Maybe you misinterpreted it. Look, you know, just today, three more of us made up our minds. I mean, it took me three days. Well, Donna's right. We've got to be fair. If Val says she needs more time, we've got to give it to her. For Christ's sake, Luke won't be able to hold out if she comes round. Yeah, and when will that be? If what you're saying is true, we should tell a judge. Oh, yeah? And what are we going to say? We're going to get up and say, oh, excuse me, Your Honour, Luke is a pain in the ass, and he's not representing <laughs> us correctly. What do you think's going to happen exactly. then? Exactly. Luke's the foreman. He's got to represent us. But if we have a problem, we should be able to talk to the judge. We should be able to sort that ourselves. Look, some people just need more time, OK? Oh, open your bloody eyes. It's a political trial. That's bullshit, Dave, bullshit. Every day I sit in that jury room, I ask myself if I've got an open mind. Did I walk in here prepared to let the evidence direct me? And the answer is yes, I do have a bloody open mind. If Joe's innocent, I can accept the possibility. And that's the truth. Well, I still think it's a political trial, and they're not going to budge. Someone ought to tell that bastard what a shit he is. I think you already have. What's the matter with you all? Are you all bloody Christians or something? What? You all being too soft on him. He's putting one over the lot of you. You've got to be fair. Yeah, we'll tell that to the bloody cops who keep pinching the beer. <laughs> tell that to the judge. <laughs> 